Let's watch this one then. Fuck you. Going crazy here. What you What's the same? Read it, man. Well, read it, I ain't yeah. reading. The billionaire black. I ain't reading it neither, yo. I, I'm, I'm up with energy and vibes yeah, and I'm frequencies. Cool. I can't read. You read it. It's yours, nigga. You put it out. <laughs> Which one? Any of them. Read, read, read that one right there. Hey, Alex, put the arrow above the one you wanted to read. Oh, I didn't know you'd be yeah, on Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah. I interviewed FBG. Yeah, that one. I that interviewed one. FBG Cash, and this is a clip from the interview. Who FB, that? FBG Cash claims Lil Dirk told him to take a photo at King Von's mural. Rest in peace, King Von. Rest in peace, Rest FBG, FBG Cash. FBG Cash. Yeah. Oh no! This is like a this also, is this is not just an isolated incident. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're you're saying that's what he talked about in the interview. That's what he talked about. That was it. That's not funny to me. I mean, that's not at all. It's an important. Not point. It's an important thing you talk about. But it's, about. this is a, a, a microcosm of this business and what goes on and how some people look at look, like black artists. Black lives, like, come on, Adam, let you got explain. a bigger responsibility than this, this. as a multi-millionaire from bomb. fucking hip hop. Truth bomb. <laughs> truth I know <laughs> all the, the guys. Here. Listen, I know many, truth. many guys. Yo, these niggas loud as fuck. God damn, nigga, shit. Niggas blowing my shit crazy. I need to actually turn down the game. From O Block, right? I've been there. I know these guys. I interview a bunch of them. I fuck with them. I fuck with the GDs as well. None of them have told me that they think these titles are in any way out of line because to them it just seems like common sense. If you're gonna interview these guys, of course you're gonna talk about the shit that they actually talk about well, in their. Now you music. sound like a label head. No, now I'm I'm tight, Condor. I ain't gonna hold you. Think about this. <laughs> Yo, New York slang is the funniest shit in the world, bro. I just I could never say that. You know what I'm saying? That I'm tight as a man. I can't say it. Now, I know I just said it, but it was under different pretenses, under different contexts and shit like that. He's me. I'm not even about to address you. I can't address that. This interview... I didn't... I said it under different circumstances, under a different context. Came out, he had no complaints. How? None of the old block guys had any complaints. You guys you. are so much more sensitive than the actual gang members. You know why? Because we're in our 40s. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, he's not wrapped up in this at all. Yeah, he's my no, no, let me finish. I'm, I'm gonna say that. No, no, no. He's saying, he's saying we're more sensitive. Yeah. We're the young black people that are these kids' parents. Mm. These are our little brothers. These are our fucking nephews that are outside killing each other. And you white people are now interviewing them. Yo, yo, fucking... yo, yo, yo. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Stop. Y'all niggas be listening to the music the exact same as the white niggas. Ain't no count, ain't no accountability. Y'all don't be going out there just like, oh yeah, let me just go to randomly, uh, let me go to O Block today and pass out some fucking milk and cookies and shit like that. Niggas don't be doing that. These are our nephews. These are no, no, they not. And you don't treat them like that. Y'all say this shit, and this is the issue that I have with with this. These, this is the issue that I have with with platforms, right? I'm someone who legitimately get saddened when things happen but i can't be on this whole like oh i at, at most or at best i can see people that i used to know and some of these dudes who's who make music at best but saying it as if these is my nephews these is my my my, my brothers my, you know how big of a sense of responsibility that i have to my nephew my nephew is like a son to me I will lay my life on the line on the, oh, I will give my life for my nephew. Acting like you're going to do that and it's so easy to say that just for random niggas who have bad circumstances and you want to put yourself on a moral high ground and it's very easy to do that against a white representative of what they feel hip hop should be. It's so easy to throw yourself on that. This is why I don't like having conversations about shit that's clearly wrong or shit that's clearly misguided. Cause I never want to put myself on a moral high ground on some shit that's like very easy to say. It's like when niggas used to, uh, when, when niggas, we saw that debate with uh, Andrew Tate and XQC and these niggas going back and forth, everybody else in the chat and in the call talking about, you wouldn't die for your girl. You wouldn't go and, you know, protect your girl first. They're putting themselves on this high ground as if like, bro, you, you wouldn't do this in the way that you are specifying it either. And it's okay to say that. Don't, 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 don't bro, because if that was the case, bro, we wouldn't, you wouldn't have a, a podcast talking about this shit. 
I wouldn't be I wouldn't be talking about my nephew if he had passed away in some tragic, you know, violent situation. I wouldn't be talking about him on on videos and shit like that. I'll be in the muck and grind. But you not because you don't really know these niggas. It's an, it's an, and it's OK for you to say that the issue is beyond you. You can you can help it. You can aid it. But it's beyond you. It's, it's bigger than you. You don't have as much control as you think you do. What about when they went say, all, What look, about when he went on those music me, and dissed all his ops in the music I so that I could then I later? And I don't like. It's not like I got a. You know, I'm advocating for what Adam Twenty Two is doing either, in that regard. But making it seem like, oh, okay, I'm above you in this. Re you're not. Like, there's only so much that you can do. You can acknowledge that some of it's wrong, sure. But it's like, what are you doing? Ask him about it in interviews, Dog, right? I would love to finish. Finish, finish. I should have let him finish, though. In his defense, I should have let him finish. He ain't making the money you are. You sitting there interviewing these black kids that are fucking killing each other and y'all monetizing it. That's not cool. I don't give a fuck what they talking about in they songs. Y'all are turning a profit off of this black trauma of them killing each other. Yeah, they the ones doing the killing because they young and they dumb and they don't fucking know no better. Facts. That's facts. We 45 and 46 years old, and we know better because these are our nephews. And that's fine, but they not listening to y'all niggas. You could say that over and over and over again. You niggas have zero influence at all. They do not give a fuck what you talking about. At all. You not stopping nothing. They not getting swayed by your words at all. No capacity. You not changing none of these niggas. It sound good. You, it don't, it's not effective. What good is you being 45 in this context? None. Because I live over here and I'm doing my thing and you over here doing your thing. What, 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 why are you, why are we mentioning this? So you, they not your nephews so, and that's why you don't see They not yours either. The Kevin Samuel shit in the same light that we see it because you're a white dude and you don't understand what he is. Except Kevin Samuels was causing a black. So drill finish. rappers aren't worth it, would, worthy of being interviewed? I'm not. Bro, you're not going to spit my words. I'm sharp. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Thank you from what you're no, saying. No, that's not what I'm saying. I interviewed this I'm dude saying and I you're... asked him about his music True. and his content. True. It's, 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 it's basic exploitation, okay? I, nobody said that. I didn't say I was 45. It's basic exploitation. And once we get to a point... See, okay, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let him spit. I'm going to let him get his shit off. This is what makes me so upset about my generation of people. It's so easy to just look at a nigga who's clearly in the wrong and then be like, yes, this is simple. I wouldn't do that. So I'm here and he's here. Which sure you could be. But you not you're not doing what you think you're doing is all I'm trying to say. To put it simply. And what I'm telling you is he's 19, 20, 21 years old. He's going to give anything just to be on somebody's fucking camera and get some light shined on his project. I interview and rappers what I'm saying all is he the lost time. His, he lost his life. I interview rappers on, all the time. These people who are, are losing their the lives. Streets. And you keep telling me deep about the, the business. Of, and I interview of, them and they don't. They don't they know don't no talk better. about crazy shit. No, Adam. because they do know better. I'm oh, telling you, most one? street rappers, when you interview them, are not going to say shit about their ops or they're not going to. And I do think low key, you know, he's kind of putting them in a light where it's like, oh, shit, these are just kids that don't know what they're doing. Like some of them do know what they're doing. It's just the environment that they come from is so deeply ingrained into their their M.O. and their model and how they do things, and how they move as, as people like that reaction that how you react to things obviously is a big part of what you are you know invested into like what what people invest into you as you come up as as you are a child and you come up but but acting as if they don't have the wherewithal or the intelligence to get beyond that or to know what it is that they're doing is wrong or not i think you're a little short-sighted in trying to make them and trying to pass them off as if they're these ignorant animals that only work off instinct they have emotions they have fear they have you know what i'm saying they know what's going on but their circumstances are preventing them from making what you would consider probably sound decisions but that type of shit like saying it in that way like they don't know no better is almost like saying it's almost like when white liberals come out and they like, OK, well, uh, most black people or all black people don't have access to getting to, 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 to vote or to change political circumstances. Or like when something don't go wrong, you know, oh well, well, the blacks didn't vote or it's not it's the black people fault. Like they do know they're intelligent. These are intelligent human beings that know what it is that they're doing, but their circumstances are what they are. You can acknowledge that while, while at the same time not trying to make it seem like they're dumb.
they're not gonna whatever. They're, Older they're, ones. They're smart about it. Older right? ones. Smarter ones. He, he was someone. Saying, he was no. He was someone. That's a normal word to me. He was someone who was more open about the people he was beefing with. Obviously, he's like Lil Durk's top op while he was living, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's talking. Top op. Top op from. <laughs> Bro, top off is <laughs> what he's. I just. All right, bro. It's all right. Top off is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Talking about his problems oh with Lil Durk because bro. that's a that's a prominent theme in you his music up? and stuff. That's crazy. Stop. 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 His enemy is a word that Tom has been used Bob for as long crazy. as time. He's talking about this stuff in his content, so I asked him oh about it. Oh my god, the that shit is because fucking... oh white niggas are hilarious. I all you did like that that one comment is enough to validate their entire point against you at this point. That's what a lot of his content is True. about. Of course, I want to know about the conflict that he has. Oh my with god, one of the top rappers that he has. Top up. <laughs> How can I not ask these not guys saying, about the you are shit not they're saying, making music true, about? True, you're not saying one wrong thing. Right. You are not saying Top one up. wrong thing. What I'm saying is... I, I gotta add that to the soundboard. Top up is... <laughs> Top up is fucking insane. I find it somewhat disturbing oh that my somebody God, bro. that is outside of what these boys endure on a day-to-day -day oh basis my God. interviewing them and monetizing it for your own personal gain when these kids are dying this is them and their family's trauma that you guys are monetizing to turn a fucking profit and you're calling it journalism that's not fucking journalism they're gaining man. from it as or well content. no they're not they yes they no, they're losing. promoting his music I don't career there's a reason why these dudes in particular okay here's what i'm gonna say and let's be honest about the situation yeah john legend is definitely my top op oh my god that is the greatest thing i've heard all day um this is what this it's okay to be honest with yourself as a content creator all you have to do is literally determine what your reason for doing xyz is but you have to take yourself out of whatever moral high ground that you're on and really analyze and understand that you are a beneficiary in everything that you cover tragedy violence uh racial you know situations in the u.s or however you want to you know manage it or tackle it on your platform you are someone who is going to be a beneficiary you are going to be someone who benefits from the content that you make and this content oftentimes is about the same nephews and little brothers that you talk about i'm talking about them on this platform so if you want to you know what i'm saying come at adam 22 which you can which is fair i'm not defending that i'm not defending that at all what's crazy is academics did the same thing and they not pressing him about it facts but it's okay to be a content creator and say to yourself i know it's crazy that you have to acknowledge this fact the main beneficiary in the content that you're making even if it is for whatever purpose that you claim is is, is righteous in your mind you are the main beneficiary if I make a review video about, I don't know. If I make a review video about uh, a, a nigga who goes on about his trauma for an entire record, it could be an insightful in re a review. It could be a valuable review. It could be a v review where people are like, okay, you know, I I'm really glad that you gave your, your perspective on this shit. Who benefits more? Obviously, if I if I did a video like let, 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 let's say Kendrick released his la his latest album for free, I know he wouldn't do that. But let's say he released his latest album for free. I don't know how much money he made off that. So to me, he basically made zero dollars. He could have just made zero dollars and I wouldn't know. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He released a piece of art, put it out there for the public to consume. I covered it. That's that's a lot of horrible shit in that album. That's a lot of black trauma in that album. Most of the niggas who covered it aren't asking themselves like, okay, how do I make it so that only Kendrick Lamar is the beneficiary here? Most niggas aren't saying that. When, when niggas cover, you know, uh, King Von dying, like most platforms and podcasts did, they didn't see, oh, how can I get this amount of money to his family or to his kids or to his, to his people? 
You're not asking yourself that. It's cool to be like that in hindsight. And I'm not saying you're wrong for doing what you're doing. I'm just saying you can't make it seem like, oh, okay, I'm that much better than this other individual because you, you're not. Maybe intentions set you apart. Intentions definitely set you apart. And, of course, color of skin because it's going to look weird or, you know, it's going to look weird and it's going to look away a white man covering black anything. It's going to look weird a white man covering black anything. All I'm saying is everybody, as you are, are in the same boat. Different reasons don't make you better is all I'm saying. You got Ruga and FBG Cash on the screen. They both fly to Los Angeles mm -hmm. to do an interview with me mm -hmm. because it's promoting their career and their business that they're building for themselves. The fact that FBG Cash got into this random ass situation where some his, his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend shot him or whatever the fuck it was. What does that have to do with anything? That's I'm just about, some bullshit I'm that happened you. after See, the fact. Wait, 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 stop, 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 Yo, you and your girlfriend, you said you and your- he, he's talking crazy right now. He is calling that random bullshit. I mean, that's that's kind of crazy. I was just saying that to make it clear that he didn't True. die over some gang shit. Like True. it's not like he got killed by a rival gang member that he talked about in my interview. He got into some totally separate shit. Listen, you and your you and your fiance were gonna. You said you guys got proposed to by somebody to do content. Right. You turned it down. Right. Why'd you turn it down? Because we ultimately decided that we could do a because fine you, job on our own. You Adam, found you a, have black friends growing up? No, time out. You found mm -hmm. another okay. way to monetize <laughs> your content bit. and cut them out. Right. You didn't need them. Right. They need you. Uh, no. You just they, said you it. You just said they, you just you said just they, said they needed they you. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Parks, that was a super messy question from Parks. Uh, I wouldn't say they need any of these people doesn't it work the opposite way isn't it the other way like you need them granted you have the opportunity to give them a massive you know following and, and potentially launch careers but like you like i said you benefit more so it's the other way around like without the people that come up to the podcast and shit like that like what is no jumper and he knows that he's not denying that or acting like oh yeah it's it's just me i don't i don't understand it is, yeah, it's more it's way more mutual than it is one sided. I agree with that. Need me. They want to do content and, and reach out because to my audience. You and just stuff. said two sentences ago, my last question. FBG that they catch both, had videos with millions of views before anybody interviewed them. I don't care. You just said that they profited and you profited. That's what yeah, you said. Yeah, it's a cool. mutual relationship. They don't know enough. It's like me taking a 17 year old. <laughs> Nigga is hurting from this uncle. Nigga said unk off is crazy. Oh, girl. Or this 18. is a grown man. He just did like seven years in prison before he did this interview. How can you just did treat you know him how? like a child and say, oh, he doesn't know enough? Because mentally he's going on songs bragging about his fucking killings. I, that means he that don't know like enough. That seems like an exaggeration. I don't know that he bragged about killing anyone. He'd probably be in prison if that was the case. But it's okay to say somebody need therapy without trying to reduce them to like, oh, yeah, I, I don't think this person knows even how to. What the fuck is this? Okay. I'm like, why has this been on the screen forever? It's okay to say that they need therapy and they need help. They need to fix that trauma and stuff like that without also trying to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to. This person's basically a child. Like, you just, you, you you reduce them to, like, a beast. It just, it sounds way worse than what's coming out of Adam's mouth, even though I know it's not what his intention is. He raps about street shit, right? Ice. He raps about street shit. What I'm saying is this. He keep a line. Every, yeah, guy. he does. Everybody that's grown ain't grown mentally. You agree with that or no? So you think I should I'm be doing like question. some sort of intelligence to... evaluation? Should no. I give them like a quiz no. where no. they have to I have to I'll, prove that their would... IQ is high enough? Before no. Yeah, I, I think them. you should be doing that. No, but... he don't have to do that. <laughs> what I'm asking you is, do you agree with me, yes or no, that every grown person in age is not necessarily the sharpest knife in the jar? Well, he talked, yeah, he's talking about, he's basically saying, why would you put the meat in the... Oh, I'm like... We're, we're, okay. I get what you're saying. Um, let me go back. Let me go back. No. Because that just threw me off. That every grown person in age is not necessarily the sharpest knife in the drawer mentally. Do I agree that there's a range of intelligence? Yes, this of guy course. Yeah, sure. Part. Okay, cool. Are there smart hey, people and are Joe there Biden. dumb people? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yo, yo. hey for, for him to have a... Nah, you, it, it, he's answering that in a, in a bit of a facetious, a facetious way. Because it's like... The expectation of like a, a 19, 18, 20, 21, 22, even up to 25 year old to have that level of insight and awareness, which is typically a, a large portion of the people who helped blow No Jumper up. Um, 
obviously they're not going to have the greatest, you know what I'm saying? Wherewithal. And you, you apply that to any person, just any 25 year old and below to 18 to 25, 26, even year old. Um, you're not going to have the best, probably decision making tackle that with a bunch of trauma in their circumstances. You're not going to have the best, you know, the, the, the best understanding of these things. So trying to make it like I get what they're saying in this in this regard. Problem with what I did up there. Yo, he ain't answering a fucking y'all, thing. Y'all, up y'all, here. Y'all, Smart y'all people in there, are dumb people. Right, this cool. is easy. Yeah. All right, cool. No, nah, that's not that's not an easy question. It seemed like it is, but you're not trying to answer what he's so trying some, to say. Some people, would you agree? Also, are more easily manipulated than others. Sure. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So this is like like this is him almost like not acknowledging why I don't know why he's screaming. This is almost like him not acknowledging why. Uh, a 50 year old man shouldn't be with an 18 year old girl or a 19 or a 20 or a 21 or a 22 or a 23 or a 24 year old girl like legally yes this person can do xyz but should you be entertaining conversation should you be exploiting this individual in this way knowing that they still have lots of growing room left no you probably shouldn't and them doing this they're coming kind of corny bringing a guy onto your show and going at him 4v1 you don't really care. I mean, that's cool for you. I'm sure when you're 50 and you have a 25 year old and you end up having a daughter instead of a girlfriend or a wife, that's going to be you. Me personally, I like to talk to bitches my own age, but that's just me. Anyway, um, in this regard, if you are on a podcast or whatever and you run this type of content, I think you should expect to be grilled on a regular basis, especially when these are some niggas that, you know, what I'm saying they're not average, I would say, in terms of talking points. Why wouldn't he expect to be grilled? It's not 4v1. He's just being challenged on a point. Wait, oh my god, I almost hit the wrong button. Coming on your platform because your platform is huge. Okay. Right? So do you agree that them coming on your platform, you said it already, that it has a benefit for them as well as you? <laughs> of course. Yeah. So do you also think that you are monetizing this black beef trauma shit that these boys are going through? I mean, incidentally, yes. I am monetizing it because when we make content on YouTube, it's monetized by default. See, he's doing too much right now. He's over-explaining the situation. All you got to say is yes. In- what are they going to say after he says yes? What, what are you going to say now? But that so being said, this is content that the people clearly wanted to see. You see the view counts. These guys are popular. People mm-hmm. want to hear from them. There's tons of other platforms interviewing them. So that's your rule. If people want to see it, I'm putting it out. It don't yeah. matter about yeah. because life. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He need to be ready for this. Ain't nobody get, uh, nobody feel bad for him that he's 4v1, quote unquote. He having a conversation. Don't nobody give a fuck. I mean, but Black. you know, the name of like this music. You realize I listen to drill music, right? Yeah. So these, <laughs> these people are people I'm genuinely interested in meeting and having conversations with. It. And then I put it online. I hold it. up. Hold Yo, up. Let me, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. But you know hey, what? Hey, hey. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Because I say it all the time here about how that's not a fan. That's not a fan. No, I actually listen to it. Like, actually, awesome. that is the music awesome. I like the most awesome. in the world. But... Same, but uh, your, go ahead, you finish. Your your behavior and your train of thought isn't aligned with the the uh, well being of these people. You just listening to songs. True. Let me give you. don't really give a fuck. You don't, 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 don't really about give a well-being. fuck about any of these people. Why? That's such an extreme leap for you to take. No. How's that an extreme leap? You literally just said, "I listen to the music. I am therefore entertained by these individuals." That is the extent of the relationship that I have with them. That's not a crazy take. That's what it is. That's most people. You could ask the average black person about that. Do you like listening to this person's music? Yes. That's it. What does that mean? It's true. Wait, That's stop. Listen. Right. Wait, stop. Well, let me read oh, some of your shit. Yeah, these are people I interviewed and then continue to have relationships with before it's reacts to FBG Duck's mom. You're like, you putting moms in this shit. She dissed them. What the fuck business you, is that of yours? A- it's not. It's not. That... That little thing right there, that's the exact that's the exact same issue uh that niggas have with certain shit you shouldn't involve yourself in. Like even professionally speaking, why would you want to be in that? That's like a what do you call that? Uh uh a, a liability for you low key. Especially if you have workers at No Jumper, right? And you interviewing all these different niggas. Let's say you interview like where's the conflict of interest for Adam 22? If do you go on and do you have NBA Young Boy up there and you do an interview with Young Boy and then next week you do an interview with Lil Dirk and then something happens at your studio and one of your members or one of your crew gets killed or shot or something like that horrible scenario but just just imagine or picture that 
just imagine a situation where you have to make a decision and say, you know what, maybe it's not content wise, this isn't a good idea or a good look. Maybe I don't want to be associated with this particular thing. Maybe I pull back on how far I go into these people's lives. How about that? I feel like that scenario is very likely. Now, would it happen? No, not likely, not likely, not, not likely. I didn't mean likely. I meant possible. I meant possible. Adam is a crip. Their crew is good. <laughs> All right, bro. YouTuber, she's a whole personality out here. Everybody knows oh, her. This guy's going crazy. Even if she is. I don't like. I don't. I don't generally like the interviews that Joe Button does. But the um, the uh. I'll generally like, all right, like hang back on like he doesn't get into like he don't get messy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't like the like the interviews that I've seen him conduct don't seem to go deep enough. But he's not like a, a, a super messy individual when it comes to like shit that could probably get somebody killed. I'm going to give you an example. This like like you crazy. said, you listen to Drew. They all know that's that's yeah. the narrative. I'm saying in regards to shit that could get somebody killed or potentially escalate. That's all I'm saying. About me, that that's all I listen to. Not true, but that's the narrative. Okay. We sat down with an artist from the South. I'm not even going to say his name. Mm -hmm. Yo, an all white fit? Hold on. What is he cooking? Yo. Is the, I, is the hat white? T oh, my fucking God. What the fuck? Why am I just noticing that? I feel like both people are genuinely stupid. Going after an interview is odd. When companies make billions off of black trauma every year and barely even get challenged on it, this dude is taking the high road against somebody that's at worst morally gray. Um, Yeah, I agree with you. But in terms of like companies that make billions of dollars off of it, I mean... No, there's nothing that you can do about shit like that. Like, I know you're not saying this, but almost what you're doing is like, oh my God, you don't like capitalism. Why do you have iPhone? It's like, it's not that people don't want to speak out against these things. It's that since these companies are so huge, since these companies are so huge, it pretty much prevents people from going against them. You understand? You, 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 you make, you get every other smaller corporation out of the way and make yourself huge as a billion dollar company or whatever you want to call it. And you prevent people from being able to challenge you in these ways. So a lot of people look at it as useless and it's easier to attack someone like Adam 22 because he's more local. He's a, he's a more general, more easily accessible individual. You think that you're going to be able to run up on a CEO of what Sony or, or UMG gonna be able to run up on this nigga and have a conversation and grill him like this? No, you would never even get access. You wouldn't get access, you wouldn't get a conversation, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get a phone call, you would get nothing. If, you, if you're not making me money, I'm not talking to you. This fit is fucking insane though. This fit is ridiculously, it, like that's crazy. Uh, second part of your comment, I do agree. Morally gray, eh. That's, in, that's that's subjective or whatever. I don't think that he's like, oh my God, I'm intentionally doing this thing, but I do think maybe he's a little too old to not fully just be able to accept accountability in this regard. That's all. Oh shit, what the fuck? I mean, that's all I listen to. Not true, but that's the narrative. But also, Adam22 has definitely had his effect and influence. If you're around hip-hop social media circle, you probably know Adam. Of course. Of course. We sat down with an artist from the South. I'm not even going to say his name. Mm -hmm. Folks who are familiar with him know who he's beefing with. Mm -hmm. He's been beefing with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. once did we ask him anything about that. Nope. And yeah. and had an entire amazing interview. Who is he talking about? Who is he talking about again? Hold on. We. I'm sorry. I just did not know that he was wearing this all white fit. Sat down with an artist from the South. I'm not even going to say his name. Mm -hmm. Okay. He didn't say Folks who are familiar with him know who he's beefing with. Mm. He's been beefing with. Uh -huh. Oh God, I hope it's not Young Boy. Holy God, please no, not don't 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 let it be Young Boy. Like the interviews that these niggas kind of be doing, the interviews that these niggas be doing, bro. It remind me of that J Cole and Lil Pump interview so much, cause it's like it's just a whole bunch of like nothing that's being said. Like when he interviewed Lil Baby, like it's cool that this combination even occurred, but it's like. Ah, uh, this nigga, like, what are we doing here, bro? Like, it's just awkward. Sometimes it look, it look, it look a little awkward. He said from the South. 
He said from the South. So I don't know. True, I do understand that, but at the same time, people boycott and try their hardest to ruin companies consistently. I just feel like the same energy should be shown to labels. I do understand it's difficult, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't be done at the same time. Sure, that's fair. I think the bigger impact wouldn't be people. And again, it just speaks to more of a class issue. It's more on, and it's unfortunate, the artists to become informed on the... You know what I'm saying? Black trauma that the everyday Joe or every average everyday Joe would talk about. It's more so on them to take their money away from these labels. Once they get out of their contract, boom, go independent or do something else. Not to re-sign or add more albums or get cash advances and shit like that. But it's only so much of that you can do because the, the issues prior to that, they go and they, and they poach these kids. They go and they like intentionally looking for somebody to just turn 18, 19, 20 years old so they can get them under contract because they had one hit single. And then boom, you now, now you with me for I don't know how many albums and I'm already going to give you a cash advance on top of the signing. Like it's. If that's how they that's how they do it so it's like am i gonna listen to this nigga who just randomly spitting he chatting or am i gonna listen to the niggas that just gave me 2.5 because I, I made a hit song and, and i put it on soundcloud back in 2017 or some shit like that like that's who they're gonna listen to you get pimped when you a kid basically so it's more so on them to become more informed because they have more power to do something as opposed to the average everyday person and then when they take their talent away from the label, then the label starts to lose a little bit of that, what do you call it, uh, influence. You know what I'm talking about? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Not once did we ask him anything about that. Nope. And, yeah. it, and, and I agree with them. Stop asking these federal questions. Had an entire amazing interview. Had an am Leverage is a better word. Amazing, had an amazing interview. Mm -hmm. You got a cookie? Cookies? It's chicken wings. Oh, it's a wings. wings. It's chicken Did wings. not ask him about that one time. At all. Right. At because all. we we're not trying to you are shed light on that. that. We're not trying to promote that. You are that. promoting. You that. are still an artist. You got there's more to you to, than that. Right. And, and we don't need to sit there and clickbait that. And that's the problem. We we delved into who this kid is as a person, what he grew up and what he endured in growing up. Y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all yeah. care about yeah. what the people are gonna go to immediately. I agree with that. I agree with that. What can we put out here to get clicks? Fuck and what happens because of this. Fuck if anything yes. comes back and after. I don't know why Adam is looking confused right now. That's literally what these niggas be doing. That's literally what these niggas be doing. I, I like at this point he shouldn't even be, like I, I know the defense. The natural defense is like, oh no, they're 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 they're, they're speaking too much real shit to me right now. Like they 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 speak facts. It is. And this shit is detrimental. Nigga blinking like I don't know where I am. Nigga giving to Alex Jones right now. Like no, nah, they they boys evidently what, they fucking click. dying, and, and y'all could give two fucks about it because y'all turning a penny from wait, it. Wait, 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 that's my only beef. Wait, that's my only beef. Another weed is gonna grow right where that one grew. That's my only. When he dies, it's gonna be another fucking drill rapper to come take his place that we gonna interview and monetize as well. You don't. You don't respond to that. That's how you respond. You don't. You. I ain't seen. You just got. Sometimes you just gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> just gotta be quiet. BMX biker nigga up there yet? <laughs> they are. They're just he done left the BMX views. niggas. Came to hip hop. No jumper did BMX this shit. Action. You can find tons of BMX content that we make that incidentally. Where's the BMX the nigga that died? Where you went to his mom and said, "Yo, this nigga died. He got shot in the fucking head." His mom said. <laughs> these niggas over where's that well that probably don't happen as much <laughs> that probably don't happen as much he gripping the fuck out of that re i hate it anyway it probably don't happen as much but well he's just it's less profitable let's just say that and there's no defense for adam on this bro joe could really throw on some i'm saying why would you hop out with the all white it's insane i've never seen that i've never seen that i bought some nike joggers one time and they were white and i'm not gonna lie to y'all bro i wore them out in public and i felt like the biggest bitch i i don't know i i wore them i was 22 i was 22 years old and i put on some white nike joggers and i think i had on a tan shirt and some white harachis like the first edition I threw him away. I don't know what I, I don't know what I was cooking. I don't know what I was cooking. I I was I was on crack that day. It must have been. I must have been on. I don't know why I thought that was good. A good decision. I was di I was different at that at that exact moment, bro. That was bad. That was a bad idea. I'm I'm sorry. 
if I can find the the the, the thing, yeah, with the tan shirt. It was almost all white, but I decided not to do the white shirt because I just I knew I couldn't come out the cut crazy, but I was still kind of insane. That was still kind of insane. From the niggas you fuck with, your little biker I'm niggas. I'm not aware of any sort of situation like that with BMX riders. I know. And guess what? I don't see none of these BMX shits with no six and 700,000 views neither. Yeah. So it's more money and the nigga trauma. Mm -hmm. Come on, dog. I mean, I interview rappers that I like. And then I asked them. I mean, but that's, it's not his fault that people don't give a fuck about biking and shit like that. But it is, you know, the previous shit that they were saying facts. Them about problems that they have with other rappers that they are open about on records. Because what? Because I'm interested and because I know that the fans. Because you asked him about it, low key. Fans are interested. Because Yo, you what's know with that's y'all's. What's, what's with y'all's. Uh, the idea that that's what's, wrong when that's. I'm, what, I'm basically just describing YouTube. What you is interview your, people and you ask them about the shit that people are actually interested in. You guys trying to somehow find. No, you ask him about what you are interested in. Why the fuck would I go. Nigga, what? Like, okay, if that's the if that's the case, if I were to interview Megan the Stallion today, even though I have mad other questions for her, the internet only wants to hear about how or who really shot you, who really did this, who really did that. Like, you don't have to do any of that. Ask what you want. That is your power as an interviewer. Now you can ask some intense stuff and sprinkle it in, but like making it the starlight or the main focus, like sometimes it's just kind of it's just kind of how is this a crazy pause? How is this a crazy pause? All right, he just literally just said, "Ask the viewers." That's what he said. Like, what? Find a way to make this this evil deed. Impressive. I'm asking about it's your fascination with black I was, trauma. I will give you that. No, this I is was, impressive story. I was on your You're team adding this first. weird narrative nah. to what I. He's being too defensive right now. Doing that I don't think is accurate at Adam, all. Adam, it's up there. It's not us. We reading your shit. But you're creating this narrative that I'm just doing this because that's like I don't know because I want to see these people die. No, or no, 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 no. Nobody said that. No, no, you don't. See, the Alex Jones just did the exact same thing. Ow, my back. See, this is why I don't scream. Alex Jones did the exact same thing. When niggas don't want to take accountability, they take it to extremes. No one said that. You went here. <laughs> that's crazy. You went here because niggas is starting to press you about an issue that's legitimate. And you don't know how to handle the accountability of it. So now, oh, now I want to see them die. No one said that, bro. No one said that. Alex Jones did the exact same. You know, I could, I could low-key make a, I, I'm going to do a mental case study. I'm going to do a case study one day. It's going to be soon. What's on me? What's on me? Okay. No, all I did, what I'm saying, that's not what I meant when I said my back. Chill. Shit because it's important to them, and then I ask them about it in interviews because it's important to them, and people let me, want let me to just know. Add, let me ask you a question. Do you think, like, I, like the example I gave you, do you think you could sit down with one of these artists, interview them about them? Right. Adam, Ack, or Button, if I had to pick. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? If I had to pick what? Like, it's just the head of media content creation? I mean, the most, uh, what do I call it? I would honestly say the most honest out of the three, I think would be academics, regardless of my issues with bro. Like in terms of like issues in terms of his communication and, uh, you know, the past shit. I would probably say act if we just being like, who's going to give me the most information He's not going to be unbiased, but he going to give probably the most info on a situation. Uh, Joe would probably make me feel the best about receiving the information. Academics be wilding out, but I trust. Yeah, I trust the shit that academics be saying for the most part. To a degree. It depends on the situation because Ak is just so overtly biased and never tries to hide it never tries to hide it so it makes it hard to take some of the shit that he's saying but uh joe button is kind of biased in the opposite direction where it's like if he really like a nigga it might you know what i'm saying sway some of the intensity of an interview that he might give and then adam from what i've seen uh It depends, because, like, all the niggas that Adam, I think, has 
interviewed or platform i think there honestly i think there are other niggas on adam's platform that have interviewed some people better than he has i don't and i don't even dislike adam 22 at all I, let's just keep the record straight all three of the people that i just mentioned i prefer over vlad tv like to be under vlad tv you have to be like terrible so vlad tv would be like the lowest tier obviously but everybody else i mean i will watch Remember an interview with Joe all of these people almost got beat up by the Migos, they're his top ops <laughs> top ops is still hilarious. i don't do not forget do not forget to remind me to put that on the soundboard please without, without the drama the i do that all the time and a lot of people just don't say shit. you'll ask them so what was this line in this song? Was that about so and so? But and that's not that's and, not what I said. That's not what he you, said. No, that's not what I said. They're just no, not answering saying, your yeah, question. Can I do an interview in which I don't ask them anything interesting? Yes, of course. I, I think that's suboptimal. I'd, I, I'd rather do an see? interview that see? answers all see? the shit that the fans want. He views interest in something as numbers, which is uh, what is the word? <laughs> Literally accurate. It's accurate to the definition of what interest means but interest is also subjective you can you can you can alter what your fan base or what your audience gets interested in or what they get interested by to a degree to a degree like i look at certain channels and i'm like this channel has cultivated an audience that expects or is interested in this type of content because what the content creator puts out there you could change that it might be a big drop in viewership because of the audience that you've already cultivated. But you, if you'd have started a different way, then you'd have cultivated a different audience that would be interested in different things. You aren't going to take that leap. And now those other things that they might view as interesting um, aren't interesting because of the audience that you've garnered and the people that you've interviewed over the years. You can't do that other stuff or else it'll kill your channel. Someone else could. So requesting them to do it at this point is kind of like pointless, but I digress. Why you can't find something interesting without that? Without death. I think that's very interesting. Why does it have to go to death? You're just assuming they that everyone's just... You just and dying Adam, left and right. Dying. These Most rappers kids... who beef with each other do not die at the end of the beef. It's just fucking work. Okay, but a lot of them do. It don't have to be most of them. This isn't a situation where it's like, oh, most people who catch COVID won't die to it. That was a crazy analogy. But it's one of those situations where it's like, if it happens, it's still bad. It's still awful. Like, just just because it's not a majority doesn't mean that you can undermine the amount that it still happens to. Birds, it's rap, That's white. what you see, and that, that's the disconnect. These niggas are really dying. So this ain't just rap beat. Yeah, yeah. He knows. This is oh, not so, rap beat. So this certain, is street so beat with people that just so happen to rap. That's what he said. A certain percentage is tolerable. I kind of want to see the rest of that. Cause I, I just, I just, I just be like, I be trying to see how niggas defend themselves in certain situations. I do. I be trying to, I be trying to understand. You're going that. crazy. Hold on, I fuck with the GDs as well. None of them have told. <laughs> oh my God. What are these cuts? I fuck with the GDs as well. Fuck. Oh, that's bad, man. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad, dude. That's bad, dude. What the fuck? Don't say shit. You'll ask him, so what was this line in this song? Was that about so and so? That, but and that's really dying. He knows. This ain't just rap beat. Yeah, yeah. He knows. This oh, is not so, rap beat. So this certain, is street so beat with people that just so happen to. I got some smoke for you. Ooh. Rest in peace to the Godfather, Kevin Samuel. Rest in peace. I don't like what you did after he died. Oh, wait, there's more? Like, it's a whole different. I thought they was going to go on about that continuously. What? It's disgusting. What, re uploading the Disgusting. Parts of the interview? Disgusting. What'd he do? Disc, the nastiest performance I've ever seen. What? Why do y'all do that? It's an insane position for somebody in media to hold. Please. What, what is your job as a content creator? Your job is to make content and get that content out to the people who want to see it. Mm. Damn. I, when I saw that when I saw that clip on Twitter. When I, when I saw that clip on Twitter of them having that conversation about, like, him being a vulture or whatever, I was like, oh, this probably ain't that big of a deal. Like, seeing a whole shit in context is, like, kind of crazy. False. Somebody dies, there is a huge demand for that content. You re-upload it. People see it on their subscription feed. They click on it because this is a very talked about thing. People are Nasty. literally mourning it. I can't it. even listen to this. What, what is the part? That is disgusting. Give me a coherent argument against re-uploading content when that person. This water don't taste that great is extremely newsworthy take it away please. i gotta ask him yeah was the content in a negative no connotation or no no 
What was your take on it? Uh, no, I won't say that. That does sound nasty. I won't say that. Nah, but that's what I was asking. I wanted to clarify because I didn't. Nah, see he didn't. He didn't uh, slander his name. No, he just re-uploaded everything in the world that he had on Kevin Samuels in the moment that he died. We had never even uh, done clips from that interview, so I think we clipped a bunch. Until of you found clips. a good time to do it. Yeah. Well, that sounds oh, you, disgusting you to me. You had a Kevin Samuels. You had a Kevin Samuels interview. We had already done it. We didn't do clips at that time. We started a clips channel after that. We start. We went hard with the clips from that interview. After he passed, we had never done the clips before. How soon after he passed? Uh, I don't know. Shit, the next an day. hour. Yeah. <laughs> the next One day, hour. Probably, yeah. It was nasty, Adam. What, what like, is, like, like, what hold, is the nasty hold, part hold about it? Hold yourself The nastiness is you are trying to capitalize off of somebody else's demise before his family even had an opportunity to How am I trying up. to capitalize on I want the people who are sad about his passing to have the content that they want to see. So okay. Only thing, only thing, only, only point where he's losing me is like, if you're re-uploading clips, isn't the content already there? Can't you just redirect people to the content that's already up on the platform? Like, what are you saying? Like, you can't, I, like, a tweet, maybe? I know a tweet would still kind of be a little nasty, but it would be better than, like, okay, let me re-upload clips that are already on YouTube so that people can see them. Like, the content that Kevin Samuels gave you for the interview probably wasn't that much different than the content that he's been giving you know what i'm saying on his platform and on youtube the entire time anyway like what else could you have put out there that people needed to see that badly then turn off the, then turn off monetization hey, come if on, you turn off monetization bro. you're gonna stop it from spreading on the platform stop. Gonna... that's true if you turn off monetization or if you don't have ads on your video but you just shouldn't upload that video. Adam, <laughs> you, are, Adam, you know it's true. Adam, stop You're a YouTuber. Adam, you know it. Stop it yo. Every YouTuber out there knows I'm telling the truth. Is that why you did that? Stop. What? You Content is the same but different format. Cool. That means it don't need to be uploaded. Because I thought that people... Yeah. The whole thing with the, making this content, if I do a Joe I'm going to market this off of Is this. it nice that I made a bunch say, of money off Say what you're saying you? the right way because I'm going to upload this. Is it nice... Good. Is it nice that I made... Did I interview you for money? No. But I made, let's say... Ten thousand dollars off a. Of but what he's saying is, regardless of if you interviewed him for money or not, that's not that's neither here nor there. What he's saying is, would you re-upload clips of the interview that you did with him after having already made money off the initial interview when he dies to make even more? That's the question here. And in this case, in Kevin Samuel's case, they saying you did that shit. AdSense when I interviewed you, did I interview you for money? No. I'm not is dead. Is the ten thousand dollars very nice? But I'm not, it's, I'm not it's, dead. It's, it's, it's different when I'm not oh, dead. Oh shit, he passed. Stop it, Adam. Me, I'm me, not me, dead. How does the death change that? A, a big. Like, because huh? had he not passed, you wouldn't have uploaded that like that. Had there not been a giant swell of interest in this had guy, the huh? passed, then I wouldn't have uploaded. But yeah, you, you just answered your question. I wouldn't yeah. have uploaded those clips either way. Yes, but the interest, then why the you fact didn't? that the audience wants to see it. Is the reason to upload it. No. Bro, see, this is what I'm saying. You gotta stop blaming your niggas. What you mean the audience wanna see it? They they mourning. They're going back to watch the initial interview. That's what they're going back to watch. And you like, yo, catch these clips. And uh, the, audience search, the audience are searching the audience is searching his sure. name and it's like, you know what? If they're gonna search his name, let me attach to that. That's exactly. not necessarily yes. going to look for it. Let me go see what clips are name. out there. The fact that they're He's searching trending. his name. His name is, is trending and let me attach to it. to it. His name is trending, let me attach to it. Yes. Let so me, so let that's me give that, the fans. That's saying something different. No, that's why that's saying something illogical to do. Why when someone dies do we act like people only make content to make money? It's not true. I want to No, that's not true. Everybody knows that everyone makes content to make money. I think everybody would say that everybody makes content to make money. What, what do you mean? Nobody says that just when people die. They just find it nasty when the money is still a priority even when someone dies. To entertain the audience. You had the content already. Meaningful. You had the content that's already. Why. Right. Yeah. That's why. That's yeah. the difference. He hadn't got around to uploading it, and then he passed. I'm like, fuck, we got to upload it. Course. And that's what that, we're saying that's, to you. Yeah, that is what we're saying to I you. Just, I, I don't think it's sinister. I don't see what's wrong with it. How do you not? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. It hasn't been explained well. There's a difference between sinister and uh, something in between. There's something between sinister and. Bro, this conversation is based on the assumption that we give a fuck that Kevin Samuels is dead. Okay, well, people give a fuck. And even though I don't agree with majority of his, uh, well, I won't say majority, but a decent amount of his values or the way he communicated some of his values, that doesn't mean that I wanted him in the grave or that I don't care that he passed away. But, you know.
I, I I get it. You don't have really a strong reaction because you probably didn't like the dude. I'm not I'm not gonna try to be the person to force niggas to be like, oh my god, you gotta care about every single person that ever passed away. It's, I'm not saying that's that. fair. That exists. That's yeah. true. There's being a capitalist, which yeah. is obviously a, a factor. Sure. Right. Yeah, we're going to make money off that of it. That is okay. capitalism. But even if it's... Yo, like, yo what pull up the make? definition for sinister so I make sure I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let, they get me with that a lot. Let's I say be we clear. got a million extra views from up, re-uploading all those kind of Samus clips. That's sinister. Giving the impression that something harmful or evil is happening or will happen. That was sinister. You think no, it's evil no, to make people sinister. watch more YouTube content? I don't think, I think, it's not I think I don't it is. It's I'm, a, I'm only giving my opinion. It's I'm not asking y'all yes. y'all's opinion. It's capitalistic. My it's opinion is, like Ish said, before family members and loved ones get to put their loved one in the ground. I mean, sure, the whole argument is that we care, but I was just responding to his to his comment because it's 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 fine. If you don't, it's fine. Brown. Or have the important conversations with everybody in the... But I'm sure even the guy who said, like, we were having this conversation under the assumption that everybody cares about Kevin Samuels would still disagree with trying to profit off of him dying. Family that loved this man. Now, every time we look at our phone, we have to see the likes of you, the likes of Vlad, the niggas that partake in that nasty side of the business, which is where it's only about metrics and monetization and your moral compass is totally eliminated from this. That's what makes this nasty. Are you ready? No, Are you it ready said, for the kill it said shot? To me, no, nasty. I'm not ready. You're ready no, for the kill no, shot. I'm not. Oh, God. You ready for the kill shot? That was my top eye. I'm ready. ready? It said to me, damn, yo, when this important person dies, these are the figureheads. Some would call gatekeepers. Here, I have a very that important are, question. You won't let you can't talk and listen. When I mean, bro, honestly, I don't know about that. If I'm a young kid or whatever, I I don't know if I look at any. I I don't know if I would have ever looked at any of these media corporations as like gatekeepers. Like, uh, uh, like gatekeepers to whom? I guess it's the question. When Pop Smoke died, what did the radio stations do? I have no idea. They played the I, music. I don't, I don't make it right. I don't listen to Why the not? radio. He died. We got to celebrate this motherfucker. We got to listen to the music that we all love that he made while he was alive. Playing his music is a celebration of it's his a, life. I'm going to tell you why it's different. Watching a Kevin Samuels tell you why it's different. He just say playing a song is the, <laughs> it's the same as him re-uploading clips of Kevin Samuels. Good celebration of who argument. this man was. Music that was already in circulation and everything is totally different than them being like, you know what? We're gonna make a ton of money off this off this song. Let's let's play it all fucking day. Like, I don't think that's the same, bro. What? I don't think that's the same. Different. Bro. It's not Pop smoke. Let me tell you why it's not a good I don't understand how y'all can't see that. I can answer I you. I can answer you. Pop Smoke, his music was already mm -hmm. in rotation. Always played. Mm -hmm. It's already in rotation. They didn't, yes. go, they didn't, they 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 didn't go dig it up out of crate in a backyard somewhere and, and say because he died. It up, we're it. Already up. We just cut some clips from the interview and we cut the for two it. fucking weeks, That's Adam. Same, it's the same as us playing his record on the radio. No, it's it not. Is not. That's what it is. Time out, hold up. Um, I can't go along with it, though. I can't really go along with it though, because the thing is, the thing that makes it different, the the thing that you have to do in order to hear the music on the radio is totally different than the than the processes or the steps that it would take you uh, to watch a YouTube video. Like most people, if somebody died, no, it's not the same. If most people, if somebody died, I could literally go back to the moment in the video that I saw where I wanted to be reminded of this person's greatest moment or some shit like that. In no way, shape, or form. Does a radio station have the same type of accessibility where you could go into the station yourself and be like, I want to hear I want to hear this song or this part particularly like a lot of people but could call in and be like, yo, can you play X, Y, Z because so, so and so died. But like that same access isn't there. Like I have access myself to go look at my favorite moments from Kevin Samuels. If I'm a Kevin Samuels fan, I don't need you to reupload the clips in order to get those moments. Kevin Samuels' was thing was his personality. The interview itself was up. We cut, like, I don't know however many, maybe five, five more to than ten five. minutes. It's more, it's more than five clips. Up. We haven't done that. We How many clips, clips did you That's clip? different. I, I have absolutely no revelation. Well, it's your company. No. You, you like to fall back on that three, line. Three, four, five. How many? Not three or four. 
find a way to get a definite number. It wasn't three, search Kevin and it Samuel's wasn't four. No jumper. Let's see what what I didn't know that it wasn't three and it wasn't defense. four. I don't need to search shit. It's it wasn't little, three or four. It's a little dis- distasteful to me, but it's not nasty. Or no, no, no. To answer to his, his, in his okay. defense, I didn't know that he already aired. Have I ever cried because a celebrity died? I think so. Well, maybe not because a celebrity died, but it's something that the celebrity did. Or somebody that the celebrity reminded me of. Like, X made me really sad when he passed away because he reminded me of my friend, basically. But, like, the celebrity themselves, I don't know if that's ever really gotten a reaction out of me. The closest, I think, was probably... Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Kobe was really sad, but I'm, again, I'm, I'm, I'm so disconnected. I can say, like, who... I can't even really say, like, who's, like, the most sad or whatever. They're all hor- horrible and they're all sad, but... I don't know. I don't think any of them broke into my personal that deeply outside of maybe X. Because I'm like, okay, you know. This is a kid that I'm like, okay, some really strong rehabilitation. He's clearly intelligent. This could go somewhere. And he was so young. Maybe that was the only one that really just reminded me of my, my own people. But um, the rest... Chadwick was like, like I said, all of them are sad. It's just that's the one that probably made me the most emotional. His interview. Kevin I said thought they had the interview in the tuck. No, and then when he died, it was out. Scroll back up to the oh, top so, so we can see I'm how far mad. apart it is. I'm Kevin Samuel's interview oh, one year ago, and then look at the clips are from like three months ago when he passed. One. We hadn't two, uploaded two, these clips yet. Three. We got three. Four. No, that's not. Five, that's not us. Just three. That that four. one's old. So three yeah, clips. Three years ago. Three clips that all did a couple hundred thousand views at least each because people Four. in that Four. moment wanted to talk Four. about Kevin Samuels and wanted to, you know, cherish what he was to the community Scroll while up. he was out. Yeah, we found three for the record. Three Four. right there. You can Four. see all of them right there. Kevin Samuels on interracial relationships. One. Yeah, read Stop that right there. Yeah, yeah. so that right yeah. That's, That's crazy. Important. Let's take one at a that, time. That is important. The That's crazy. Is important. You don't see. I can see if you was just like, even a video just saying R.I.P. Kevin Samuels would have sufficed. I think that would have been okay. How at the time Intera- of- interracial relationships, having this man cover interracial relationships the day after he died is crazy. Of a man Is this really that deep? I mean, clearly. It it's the nature of things. So I know people probably gonna look at it and be like, Yeah, bro, it's not that deep. It happened all the time, but if you really want to see a stop to it, even though I don't really think there will be a super big stop to it, um, then you address it in such fashion. You address it with the people that have the influence, I, I suppose. And death. You can take something controversial from them and post it and have people feeling or looking at this in a, a light other than, hey, this man died. Let's a honor him and respect him. A very easy way to remedy him. this would have been like, rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Here's tell his, tell me that you are lacking the human. Have these dudes ever heard of Trap Lord Ross? That nigga makes video essays on the deaths of dozens. Bro, I remember, I forgot. Um, I think I was on a live stream with Eric. Eric uh, Eric the Young Guy. Like a few years ago. And we was having a conversation about someone. And then he introduced me. He, swear, he swears to God that he did not introduce me to Trap Lord Ross. And it was the other way around. And I introduced him to him. That was not what the fuck happened. This nigga showed me Trap Lord Ross for the very first time. And I think the first video he showed me was this nigga covering something that happened. I don't remember where it was. But niggas died and niggas was in the open beef. And this nigga was talking about it like he was a news reporter on some shit, bro. I'm like, bro, wh- like niggas let this fly? And this was back, I think this was when Trap Lord Ross had like a smaller audience, like a much smaller audience. But I remember the first time, I think it was 2018 when he showed me him. I'm like, nah, that is insane. And even to this day, I still look at it. I'm like, bro, this is insane. This is crazy. I, I Hold on. Real quick. He got a video, I think. Hold on. Trap Lore Ross. Atlanta's biggest dealer. Chicago's deadliest gang. The life and death of Draco the Ruler. Murder in Montclair, the Bronx's deadliest gang war. New York's deadly ga- like nigga, huh? What we doing? What's going on here?
hey, I'm not want to say nothing about this in this way. All I'm saying is seeing it, it look away. It just look away. A race out of No, 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 no. No, that didn't happen, did it? I'm not about to watch it and see. No, I'm not about to watch it and see. I'm not about to watch it and see because I don't care. But that's kind of crazy. It is kind of crazy, bro. That's kind of crazy. That's all I'm saying. Humanness to where you don't see what I'm saying. So I think content is inappropriate because these are real lives and it's glorification. I wouldn't even say it's glorification. I just think that the, you, there's no appropriate way to cover certain shit. That's what I think. I think there's something to be said about maybe I can make a point out of this or maybe I can document my experience in this situation like Channel 5 did. I like the I like the Andrew video for the most part. A couple discrepancies, but I liked it for the most part. Documenting, documenting it from such an outside perspective and me, even me as a black male, I wouldn't document it because I've never been from Chicago. I've never been to Atlanta. I've never been to certain spots. I don't have like what do you call it like monopoly over these issues to talk about certain situations just because i'm black but then hearing a white nigga talk about it and he's even further away from it than i am ah uh, what is what is that well, who is 1090 jake when i looked at this just now from trap lord ross i saw the exact same thing that people uh look at when they see nick briz Nick Briz hopping into random hoods, playing basketball games, antagonizing niggas, trying to show their worst qualities and worst attributes and exploiting them for a video, doing the same thing, trying to do it recently. Like when I see shit like that, it's the same thing to me. Hold on. What is 1090 Jake? I always call it end of sentence. What is this? Snitch rumors? 1090 Jake breaking down his case. What is going on? Man, what's up, everybody? All right, bro. All right, bro. Let's get back to the video, bro. Kevin Samuels dedicated his life to spreading his message. You don't know. Wait, stop. He that's like, that's more bullshit. So you always challenge things that are so that's, evident. That's his whole career was sitting on stream and making these videos and spreading his message to people. How could I possibly you, be faulted for spreading his message further after he passed, knowing that this is the oh time when people God. are really going to want to consume this information? The arrogance of you. You have known of Kevin Samuels for how many years? Let's say you can't. Two? You can't surmise how shit he, about how, Kevin how Samuels. He? That's true. Who the fuck are you to know somebody for two years and think that you could say what their whole life was dedicated to? That's self-evident. His, his no, it's not. That's not true. His yeah, mission was wrong. to make content and spread his views to the world. Stop you don't know that. Stop you don't know that. That's, that's, that's all you I lack, know. You, you are his lacking life was make accountability. You saw him do it for two years. You saw him do it for two years. How old was he? If he had some other mission, he didn't express it to me during the interview. In the interview, he didn't express it to me during the interview. In the interview, he told me. You're not going to learn about his whole life's work in a two hour interview or however long it was. What do you mean? He didn't express it. You don't give it. You didn't give him enough time. to. Probably. This is what I'm doing. I think it's important. I think that I'm having an important impact on uh, specifically black people's relationships. That was what was important to him. Mm -hmm. is so say that, though. You yeah. said you said his life was based on something else. I'm not going to lie. It seemed crazy what he just did to the armrest or, or on, on a chair. But like I do the exact same shit and then I low key be falling off. And I'll be like, yo, you are such a fucking child. You're such a kid. Like, sit in the chair the right fucking way. And then I get mad when I hurt myself. You didn't say that. Making content about the things that he believes in and interracial relationships were definitely something that he... Dro and his crew are so lame and corny, or so corny and lame. Why do you feel that way? He felt cool. strongly about, so and I don't think there's anything wrong with further spreading his words after he passed. Not at all. I actually think I, it's more important. I didn't know that... The, the interview had already been released. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That changes things. Bro, this water tastes like ass. Jesus Christ. I put chlorophyll in it and everything. It is terrible. Holy. It's from my opinion. For sure. However, now in seeing how you guys worded the clips, this mm. is clickbaity. This is Ew. absolutely a thousand percent clickbaity. When I hear clickbait, I hear good titling. Like, Titling a video Kevin, so people will actually watch it. True. Now, but you are playing on the fact that 
he was no bro this tastes like this shit legitimately tastes like coffee that's been left out all day with no sugar why does it taste like this and you don't say flint bro because that's like don't get get off dick as the disdain for him might have been bigger than the positive popularity for him would you agree I think the peop- that there's more people who loved him than people who hated him. I, just, I think I just had it out too long. No way. Especially in the public. He got a lot of hate, but... A ton. No way. He had a big ass the hate is what pro- the, the hate is what took him to the next level. His fan base was based on haters, though. I think yes. he got 80% love and 20% hate no as a result. No way. No never. way. Never. No not way. even Hitler, close. Dude. Not even close. No, not even close. Not but even you close. know what? He could say that being coming from a white male's and maybe perspective. Maybe I was really kind of tuned out to the yes. the, he, the negativity. No, no, I, I'm, it's probably I'm, true. Yo, he he's a, he's coming from a white male's perspective, mm-hmm. so he can potentially say that. But I know it, almost nobody who doesn't like the guy. You know, I, oh, every, is he still talking about Kevin Samuels? Everybody I know thought opposite. he was great. It is the exact, it's the exact opposite. opposite in real life. It is the exact opposite. Like you and, say, you like and, even prior to you say his name, and it was like time out. No. You gonna wake up with another arm drinking Detroit water? So I'm gonna have four. So I'm gonna have four arms. That's crazy. I mean, it's a lot of work that can be done with four arms, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And you did an interview with him a year ago, right? You guys you hang out with woke people. I don't. I don't. No, I don't no, know no, what they no, think. You, no. This, this is, is your job, though. <laughs> your job is to create content and keep your ear to the ground. Right. So I know. Yeah, that shit backfired, didn't your con- it? Your, your your interview with him out a year ago. You mm-hmm. read the comments or no? Yeah, of course. He had some hate comments, a ton of them. Yeah. Some, but a lot. Not. Nah, he had a, he had a come point. on. Most God, people, I, well, I would say most people. Come on, you guys know I, about Andrew Tate? Yeah, he just got banned off banned. Facebook and Instagram. But he he's like a more, a much more extreme Kevin Samuels. You know, he's saying a lot more offensive shit. And, what's his platform? What's and his, I still, you know, he he's primarily I think streams on what is it YouTube? No, I mean, what's his um his yo. A little bit oh, of a yeah. little bit of misogyny in there, you know. Uh, Misogynist. I mean, he's yeah. Kevin's. He's a younger version. Uh, uh, I don't even want to talk about him. I think he's way more extreme than Kevin, so I don't want to put them in the same yeah, bucket. But I do. Kevin Samuel is way more tolerable than Andrew Tate. It's just the facts. I feel like Andrew Tate gets a ton of hate, but it's still probably like eighty percent. Kevin support. Samuels on women preferring hustlers to work in men. Disgusting. What the fuck? What do you mean tonight? I look good tonight. What, what about the other ones? What about the other nights? What the fuck? That's kind of crazy. Labeling. Why? You don't That's see where you are said. disgusting, it, but he, he doesn't died. Or he died. He I know died. what he said. He just died. I know what he said, but he just died. Right. So now who the fuck are you to come and highlight the controversial things? That was a female response. Okay, Andrew Tate viewer. That this man said, because you are familiar with him for fucking two years. Words belong to women now, and they can't be used by men in certain kinds. Like, you can't say shit, bro. That's controversial. This nigga was 50 years years old, yo. to working men? Yes. Adam, what is the controversial part about it? I thought it was a good title. Um. What the fuck? Oh. (laughs) I forgot we was watching a clip or some shit. And I'll be like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga? I was about to dick suck, but I'm not going to do it. Don't do that, because that's crazy. I'm just like, bro, who the fuck? Who mans is this? Out of nowhere. You can't just pop up out the video like that. I actually would have preferred if you just just started doing the voiceover, but nigga just popped up out of nowhere. And in the middle of the convo. Is it just you? What he talking about? Let's see what he talking about. I don't, I don't know if, all right, so Joe Budden, so Joe Budden and Adam 22, so it was a lot of good points made, but ultimately. That's how the YouTube comments be. <laughs> the YouTube comments underneath the debate videos be just like this. I'd be like, yo, nigga, did you watch it? Like, what, why is this all you got to say? He ain't finished his point, though, so chill. The way they was trying to paint Adam on some shit like that, that wasn't the shit. Or <laughs> yo, I loved I love talking to people, bro. Like it'd be so good because I'd be bro. like, bro, I know exactly what you mean and what you're trying to say. 